Hey you absolute legends, it's Rick Carson and for our first Young Man Yells at Cloud of the Year, we have a very interesting story to tell. So a few months back, I went and I purchased a load of stuff from a family whose grandfather had passed away. I was mostly dealing with the granddaughter, but you know, the mom and I met one of the, you know, what I believe to be grandsons and there were a couple aunts that were involved. Either way, there was a lot of guitars and I bought at least five guitars, bought at least five amplifiers, bought a lot of stuff from this family. And we had to drive out of state to get it. So it was, you know, a commitment, but it was worth the trip. What is this? You ever seen a lazy rag, dude? Freshly, <laughs> something freshly stocked, dude. Damn. But oh, we're just passing the bridge into Glizzy City. And as we were on our way out the door, in the garage, I saw sitting on a table an Avid S1 controller. And sitting right on top of the S1 was the activation card. And I said, hey, you wanna throw this in? I'll buy this as well. I saw a couple other things in that garage. We ended up making a little deal and we brought those home with us. A few months later now, here I am with this S1 and like all other Avid customers you know that if you own an avid product you got to register it so i go and i reach out to avid and i try and register this device into my name over here at the studio and the first thing that happens is we run into a couple issues so we escalate it through support and it gets to the point where eventually they ask me for the original receipt and i explain well i bought this from a family who's out of state and that was months ago, and I don't have access to the original receipt. And Avid has come back to me and asked me to provide a death certificate, which literally feels like Avid saying, hey, show us the body. And it's just incredibly off-putting. As you can see from the screenshot that we posted, not only did they ask me to show them a death certificate, but also they took the time to go and say, give us a second while we discuss this and figure out what we could do. And then they come back and ask me to show them a death certificate. So I'm very curious if whoever I was discussing this with in customer service went to a higher up at their company and was like, hey, they don't have access to the original receipt. The guy was like, well, why not? And the other person was like, well, because they say that the guy died. And they said, well, ask for a death certificate. And I'm curious if that lower level employee looked at his manager and said, do you think that's a bit much? Or if that crossed anybody's mind at any point, or maybe I'm in the wrong, you know, and asking for death certificates to prove that you own an eight channel fader bank is, you know, the norm in 2024. Also on the other side of this, as a consumer, it's very hard for me to want to go and invest more money into this stuff. You know, if I were to go and buy a $100,000 S6 system and unfortunately pass away, what kind of hell would the people involved in my life have for trying to unload that to the next person who needed to buy it? It's just very very interesting to me. I also feel like this plays heavily into the question that I proposed in my predictions for 2024 video, which is, do we truly own anything when it comes to software? And I want people to believe in the stuff that we're making and I wanna believe in the stuff that I'm spending my money on, but if these licenses are going to extend their way into the hardware products that are involved, you know, what does that look like and what is moral and ethical moving forward? Just very curious on everybody's thoughts because I definitely have a few of my own. Thank you so much and we hope you have a wonderful day.